I'm Rebecca Petit. In celebration of Women's History Month, I want to introduce you to the only female firefighter in the Haines City Fire Department. <coughs> there are 30 firefighters that serve in the Haines City Fire Department, and only one of them is a woman. I think it's awesome. <laughs> Um, do I want more females to come and work for here? Why not? You know, definitely. Letty Gonzalez first became interested in a career as a firefighter five years ago when she saw a recruitment poster. Halfway through Fire Academy, Gonzalez learned she was pregnant and had to stop. Even though I'm having my daughter, I'm going to deliver. I need to also make sure that I finish this because I also wanted my daughters to see this. I wanted to, them to know that even though you become a mom, you have responsibilities, you can still finish things. Just 11 days after giving birth, Gonzalez continued her training and completed fire school. I'm picking up a dummy that weighs anywhere between 150 to 200 pounds. Um, I have to carry it. I'm going up to a second floor, sounding the floor, going through a window. And at the same time, I'm going through everything, but I'm also trying to take care of myself in between everything. So I'm still doing all the postpartum stuff that moms do. Women make up less than 5% of career firefighters nationwide. Payne City Fire Chief Tom Murphy tells me his department is working to get more women into the male-dominated field. Some females out there that don't think that they could be firefighters, which is definitely not true. So that's one of our biggest pushes. The mother of four says her youngest daughter, who she was pregnant with during Fire Academy, now wants to be a firefighter. As the only female firefighter in Haines City, Gonzalez hopes her story inspires more women to see firefighting as a career. They can do it. You just need to dedicate yourself, be motivated, and just keep pushing yourself because I had moments where, you know, it was tough. It's tough, it's very demanding. But I just tell myself, keep pushing yourself. In Haines City, Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News.